In this video, I will be showing you how to convert your pictures like this into something like this. More than often, I find myself in situations where my friends ask me where are their pictures. Well, since we all are in quarantine and most of us don't have much to do, so I thought why not make a video on how to edit pictures in Adobe Lightroom Mobile and maybe learn a thing or two. So the app Adobe Lightroom Mobile is available on Android and iPhone as well, so you don't have to worry about that. It's basically a free app, but it's made additional cheeses you need. They are paid add-ons, so it's your call if you want to have them or not. Anyways, so let's just start. Uh, I will be editing two pictures for today. Uh, first of all, let's start with this. So I usually start off by either cropping uh, or adjusting the image. It seems fine to me, so I'm not gonna go into the crop settings. Uh, the next thing I do is usually go in the curves and I try to make the S curves. Now this S curve doesn't go along with every picture so make sure that uh, it goes with the picture and you're not just pushing it. Okay so I'm going to drop the contrast a bit, increase the highlights a bit and uh, increase the shadow, decrease the shadows a bit. I mean, I'll increase the exposure. Okay so I'm going to warm up the picture a bit. Uh, okay now one of the most important things in Adobe Lightroom and I like the most is the color mixer uh, so here you can basically pick out the colors and manipulate with them individually since you're new to this you won't understand exactly which color would uh, affect which color so i would just simply advise you to play around with the sliders as much as you can well since i've been playing around with it a lot i know which slider does what work so i'm going to increase the orange saturation uh, decrease the luminance a bit and that's it uh, I'll go into the blue change the hue to about here increase the saturation and increase the luminance a bit as well I'm going to decrease the saturation I was too saturated now coming to the effects tab I'm going to increase the texture a little bit of clarity and a little bit of texture no clarity uh dehaze is one of the most underrated tool i personally think it works like a miracle at times sometimes it doesn't but i don't need to dehaze my picture right now so i'll just pass it so one of the most old things i personally think is the split tonic so, uh, so basically you can play around and literally add the colors that you want so if i go around here i see i like this i like this bit but the thing is um i don't want to play with the shadows um this highlight i just added is very much bright or it's too punchy i want to tone it down so i'm going to play around with the pan slider here you can see that if i increase it it increases a lot so i'm going to decrease it a bit now this is a sweet spot for me uh, i'm going to increase the sharpness a bit uh, one more thing I like to do is increase the color noise uh, color noise reduction. Um, I think that's enough for me. So this was the before look and this is the after look. Now coming to the next picture. Okay, so for now, one of the four most important things is cropping like I said. So I'm going to crop it here so it looks a bit, a bit even. Yeah, it looks even here. These are just minor adjustments like line of sight, line of path, line of symmetry. They, they generally depend on your choice and your. Um, I'm gonna straighten it up a bit as well. Uh, most of the time, the straighten thing works automatically like a miracle. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's not much big of a deal. Um, then again, going into curves, the S curve that I tried to make. Okay, one, then again, the S curve doesn't work with every picture, so you have to be careful. Okay, so this is the curve. Okay, now I'm going to increase the contrast a bit, highlights, drop it a bit, increase the shadows about here, uh, decrease the whites a bit, and I'm gonna play around with blacks. I think I'm going to keep it about here again okay so i want this to be a bit of a warmer picture so i'm going to increase the temperature and a little bit of vibrance that's it now i'm going into the orange i'm going to increase it but i'm also going to change the hue because i want a little bit of different kind of an orange same with yellow uh, you can see it's affecting it but i don't want it too much so i'm going to decrease it a bit or increase the luminance green that's interesting um okay so i'm going to change the hue and i'm going to darken it a bit um 
like I said earlier, play around with the sliders. Uh, so playing around with blue doesn't do much of a difference. So I'm gonna drop that. Same goes for the other colors. Um, I'm going to increase the texture a bit. I'm going to try the heal now. Okay, so like I said, one of the most miracle things on this thing is the detail so this picture was like this if i increase it turns somehow magic green i like it more uh veneering is something i don't usually prefer but the toning i think i don't want anything but just for the sake of seeing how things might look like this might look nice but i don't want a colder look um same with the yeah nothing else okay now color noise is reduction and that is it for me i guess so this was the before picture and this is the after picture anyways this is the third time i'm recording this video guys because the first time i wasn't recording it the second time the recording didn't save and the third time i don't know if it recorded or not if it didn't i don't know i won't be posting this like about that anyways for people who have already been following me on this channel um, i know i've been posting a couple different kiss of content uh, that's primarily because i want to try something different and see how it goes Thank you very much for watching this video guys. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you want more videos like these and stay tuned for the next one.